hey guys it's Omar Shaladev here and in this video we'll be doing biometric authentication with react native and expo so let's get right into it if you're here to subscribe on this channel please subscribe leave a like to this video and share with your friends and fellow developers if this video helps you to build your project so i have a blank project here i created my project with expo i believe for you to be in this video you would know about creating projects with react native and expo and also running your project first of all we're going to design our home screen the way we want it to be and to do that i'm going to be opening up a new terminal and install twronc so that i can be able to use tailwind to style my component okay that package has installed and i just copy and paste this component nothing is working for now it's just an empty component so as you can see i have welcome to my app text i have login with password or touchable opacity on press and uh, a, an icon here the fingerprint icon is what i have here so now we'll be working with this now so the first thing we're going to be doing is to create states for to check if biometric authentication is supported or not in the device what we're going to do next we're going to log something to the console i'm not going to be doing all of the typing because i'll just paste them and explain so you will be able to follow along and this video will not be too long so i want this video to be sh as short as possible so that you can be able to get the concept behind it and not just watching me type so we're going to log this to the console if there is no biometric authentication enabled on our device next what we're going to do is that we're going to create a lot components to use in our project so i'm going to post paste that here and uh, i'm going to create the alert component of what we have and i'll paste the second one i'll be using two of them two different alert components so that when we have an error or when we have the success message we'll be able to alert user so it's just simple react native alert components you can check out the documentation for alerts in react native and you'll see how easy it is to do this so we have our text we have uh on press when we press the button what should happen and then the style for that we want for it so just simple stuff like that i can do this all day so what we're going to do next is that we're going to create our function to handle the biometric authentication so the next thing we're going to do is to install expo local authentication uh in expo docs and so we'll just copy this and go over to paste it and so we'll come to our second terminal quickly clear the terminal and paste it there npx expo install expo local authentication and once that is installed now what we'll do is to import it at the top and so we're going to be importing expo local authentication at the top we import all as local authentication whenever we put the star sign here it means we want to import all that is available in this package from i want to import it as local authentication from expo local authentication so the next thing we're going to be doing now is inside our function we're going to make our function and asynchronous function and first of all we'll be checking if our device supports biometric authentication now if biometric authentication is not supported we'll alert our users and tell them what to do so what we're passing here is a message into our alert component which we added at the top here title message and the text button text which will be passing to the alert component so we'll be able to alert our user that biometric authentication is not supported on your device so this is what is going to happen if biometric authentication is not available but what if it's available so i added this piece i added this code by myself to check what other supported authentication systems are available on the user's device Now, if we have biometric available on the user's device, then we also need to check if biometric are saved locally on the user's device. And now that we've done those checks, if biometric is available and we have saved biometric on the user's device locally, then we have to authenticate our users using biometric authentication. Now we have an error there but we'll have to import our use state at the top i think we forgot to do that what this piece of code does is that it displays the fingerprint on the user's device and then gives this message 
at the top and also give the option to cancel if you want don't want to use fingerprint anymore now based on what we've the checks we've done if we click on the fingerprint here you will see nothing because we've not yet handled biometric authentication here yet so we'll be doing that now but first we still have a few things to do first of all still inside the function if biometric auth is true then we can do our two button alert to tell the user that we have successfully logged in and also one last thing we'll need to do right here so each time we reload our app we'll be checking if we have biometric authentication now there's something we also do here in our code in would we'll display here if biometric is supported then tell the user that your device is compatible with biometrics or tell the user to use face or fingerprint scanner so we'll save our code now and if we click this okay we have an error there what are we doing wrong now we'll be adding the fallback so that in case there is no biometric authentication we'll be able to fall back i think we also need to add it here also you know debugging is part of program okay first of all we didn't import our alerts here and what else is there and also this should be if biometric is not saved then biometric record not found so if we save that now and we click on this it will tell us biometric record not found because i'm running my app on expo go on ios simulator so it will not work so what we're going to do is that i'm going to show you this working on my own real device my own android device and you'll see how it works there and so that's how it looks and that's how it works uh please don't forget to subscribe like and leave a like on this video write in the comment section also if you face any challenge i'll be willing to help you all right that's it for this video guys stay blessed